Patrick Lange and Lionel Sanders, I think, are going to be the next two contenders that we've really got to look out for. Lionel Sanders doesn't seem to be able to do things halfway. The man's built with pipe cleaners. Guys, you guys are just lumps. I'm sitting here working and you guys are sleeping away. Dogs, bunch of freeloaders. 12.30, so that makes it good early afternoon, Trainiacs. Uh, a little bit of a swim this morning that was uh, a little bit of a bash fest after yesterday's deep water running exercise. Surprisingly, all the new muscles that I worked in the deep water running are completely in use while swimming. I was sore, I was really sore. My goodness, was not expecting that. Anyway, today, what I wanna talk about is Patrick Lange, and I know you're all gonna hate me in the comments for how I pronounce his last name, versus Lionel Sanders, whose last name I can nail every time. Now the reason for this is that Patrick Lange and Lionel Sanders, I think, are going to be the next two contenders that we've really got to look out for in Kona every single year. We've seen from Patrick Lange that he's going to design his years almost entirely around Kona. We've seen from Lionel Sanders that he is going to turn his mind upside down to prepare for Kona every single year. However, they both go about the races completely different. They're both different athletes with different strengths, different weaknesses. They've got an entirely different race plan. They've got an entirely different schedule throughout the course of the year. One's from Germany, one's from Canada. Well, I guess similar sort of cold. So that's kind of cool. Cold weather makes us tough. And you know what the biggest thing about this matchup is that it's so strong right now because the pass that Patrick Lange did of Lionel Sanders in the last few miles of Kona, it was so strong that I think it blew people's minds saying, oh my God, can Patrick Lange be beat with that run? Well, we have to remember that Lionel Sanders, he led that race for 130 miles and led it by a lot. In addition to that, he's going into half Ironmans and other Ironmans smashing the field. So besides that three miles where Lionel Sanders wasn't winning the race, people would be saying how awesome an athlete he is and how he's the next greatest thing. But I think what they're saying is it's the race that got away from Lionel Sanders. And I think that that's unfair because he's equally as talented an athlete and this matchup is gonna be really fun to watch over the next few years, especially considering how different they race. So let's give you some stats here. You know how I like my stats. Patrick Lange is 31, Lionel Sanders is 29. That's actually fairly important because most full distance Ironman athletes don't really come into their prime until say like 33 to 36, that's the meaty time. Height wise, they are both just taller than five foot eight. I hear you, fellas. I myself am made just taller than five foot eight, and I like it. Here's a big difference, though, and we're going to talk about why this makes a huge difference in Kona. Weight of Patrick Lange is 138 pounds. That wispy little thing. The man's built with pipe cleaners. Lionel Sanders, however, is 165 pounds. And why this is important in Kona specifically is that heavier athletes tend not to do better in Kona because the heat is so much harder to dissipate because there's a bigger engine moving. There's a lot more body mass to cool down. So that's why we see Folks like Patrick Lange still looking seemingly very fresh towards the end of the run while a very heavy, very heavy sweating Lionel Sanders had electrolyte issues. Chris McCormick was the heaviest of all Ironman athletes, I believe all time, at 177 pounds. So that's not to say that Sanders is out of the running, just to say that he's got another challenge to overcome that Lange doesn't. Occupation of them both, Patrick Lange, trained physiotherapist. As far as I can tell, Lionel Sanders did online things just to make ends meet so that he had enough time to party. That's him saying it, not me. Lange's coach, former Ironman champion, Ferris El-Sultan. Sanders coach, nobody coaches Lionel Sanders, nobody. 
Sanders is known for coaching himself. Granted, he does have a couple of consultants, Jerry Rodrique or Rodriguez, who we're actually having on the podcast this week. Make sure you subscribe to the Triathlon Terran podcast if you haven't already, by the way. It's really awesome. Tower 26 has helped him with his swimming. And then he has a consultant named David Tilbury Davis. Solid name. Now their backgrounds. Patrick Langa seems like he's kind of come out of nowhere, but he's been in endurance sports for a long time. He was the German under 15 mountain bike champion and he competed in duathlons very successfully for a lot of years. Thing is, he finally just committed to full-time professional full distance Ironman racing in early 2016 recent newcomer. Sanders, on the other hand, was a high school and college, up here we call it university, track athlete, very, very talented, placing, I want to say, ninth overall in the province, and he lives in a really big province. And he's been racing professionally since 2013, and as far as I can tell, basically once he got into triathlon, he was so dedicated to triathlon. Lionel Sanders doesn't seem to be able to do things halfway. And then before we get into their times, we can see that Patrick Lange doesn't tend to race a ton. In 2016, he raced eight times, while in 2016, Lionel Sanders raced 11 times. He seems to race a lot more. Lange seems to be willing to step back from almost all really long distance, intense A racing, basically just to focus on Kona really risky proposition because if you go into Kona and don't do well, that is a spicy meatball there, Patrick Lange, or some spicy bratwurst or schnitzel, whatever you have in Germany. I'm actually a good chunk German, so I should know that. Now, let's get into how they race together. It's very well known that Lionel Sanders is not an excellent swimmer. Self-proclaimed, it's the thing that he has to work on the most. Now, comparing the two of them together, we're talking about a four to five minute difference between the two at the full Ironman distance races. In the half Ironman distance races, we're talking about two minutes. So Lionel Sanders, even though he's making big improvements on the swim, he's always going to be catching up on the bike. That said, Lionel Sanders is probably one of the best riders in the sport. We're talking about being faster than Patrick Lange over the course of a full Ironman by 10 minutes or more on average. In a half Ironman, yeah, that could be four to six minutes faster. But here's where it gets dicey. Based off of what a lot of people saw in Kona, they're looking at Lionel Sanders with his hitchy stride. He's like, oh my God, Lionel Sanders is not a runner. He's gonna be competing against Patrick Lange, who's just a pure runner, beautiful stride, runs like a gazelle. My last name is Gazelle. I run more like Lionel Sanders. But Lionel Sanders in the half Ironman distance races is putting out some of the fastest half Ironman runs out there. In St. George, for instance, he had the fastest run split and he did that by two minutes over Alistair Brownlee. Alistair Brownlee was trying to get to the Commonwealth Games in 10,000 meter running and he was damn close. So Lionel Sanders is a runner. He's a fantastic runner. Over the course of a long full distance run, he might be two to five minutes slower than Patrick Lange because Lange is a phenomenally fast runner. He's setting run course records all over the world. However, what we heard from Lionel Sanders after Kona was that in the few hours after he crossed the finish line, he thought that he was gonna be sore for days because he felt his body so tense and tight out on the run course. And then a couple hours later, after pounding a Gatorade and some chips and getting some salt into him, his body completely loosened up and the next day he wasn't sore at all. And he said, this is telling that it wasn't a physical issue that Lionel had out on the course, it was probably something like an electrolyte or nutrition issue. And if he can dial that in and get close to those run splits that he's putting out in half distance races, that's gonna be a lot of speed for Lange to be chasing down when he's coming from upwards of nine, 10, 12 minutes back off the bike. Now, here's the final thing about that is that Kona is a different race because it's so hot, so humid, the conditions are so difficult, that extra tonnage, that 27 pounds that Lionel Sanders has as an advantage on Patrick Lange 
in Kona isn't necessarily an advantage. So while they are gonna be battling their own physical limitations, Lionel Sanders is also gonna be battling his body limitations. So if Lionel Sanders wins, he's gonna have a brutal hard day fighting his body. If Patrick Lange wins, he's gonna have a brutal hard day chasing Lionel Sanders down. And there you go, Trainiacs. That felt good, that felt good, well-researched kind of stuff and I didn't even wake up the dogs. They haven't budged. Go Lionel Sanders, proud Canada.